Hi, we wanted to give you a quick guide about how to get the most out of AI chat and how to get amazing results. So first we're going to start out with what are prompts because that's how you interact with chat and then three strategies for getting better results and then we'll point you to a few more resources. So what are prompts? Prompts are the information you provide to Bido to converse with the AI model. So when you ask it a question or you give it a request, that is the prompt. It's the input into the chat interface. All right, so the first tip is really to write clear and detailed instructions. AI can't read your mind, at least not yet. Make sure your request provides important details and context that will help the AI model. The more you explain what you want, the better the results are that you are going to be that you get. A clear and detailed prompt will help ChatGPT understand the task and generate a useful response to you. If the AI models are having to guess at what you want, they're more likely not to provide you what you actually do want. So let me give you some examples here real quick. This is the type of request that a lot of our users actually our users give. Connect me to the API and get me a list of books. Now the problem here is Bitto or the model we're using underneath like ChatGPT doesn't understand what API you want, what books you want, how many of them, how you what language you want that code in, etc. Now here's a slightly better prompt. Provide me the TypeScript code to call the Amazon API to give me a list of the top books sold last month in each of these categories sports, business, fiction, and history. Now here's the best prompt. Provide me the TypeScript code to call the Amazon API to give me a list of the top 100 books sold by units last month in the UK in each of these categories. Create a table in my code called top sellers and store the data there. Now it takes probably about 20 seconds to write this prompt versus writing the bad prompt but the results you get will be incredibly more powerful and basically give you the code that you can pretty much run with right away versus this prompt really doesn't give you very much that you can work with immediately. You'll still have to put a lot of time in then to editing that code. This is probably the single most important tip that we can provide you. Now break down your requests into steps. That's the next one. GPTs are predictive engines. They're trying to predict the next word from your prompt and then the next word after that. Breaking problems down to help them start with first principles or to help allow them to reason can really help them come up with a better answer. So giving a bunch of steps helps clarify your instructions and helps them reason it out and give you more complete results. So just to give you an example here, you could say generate unit tests for some code. Or imagine if you broke it down into these steps. For the code above, write unit tests according to the JUnit framework. Write me three tests for positive conditions, three tests for negative conditions, and please also test boundary conditions and corner cases. Suggesting performance improvements and improve the error handling of the code. You can tell that this has a lot more detail, and by breaking it into these steps, you're much more likely to get the result that lets you move forward quickly. All right, the last tip is really to create a persona. Personas, or act like this person, can help provide the model the perspective of the type of information you're looking for and the type of answer you really want. So to just give you an example, you could use this persona as a, as a senior UX UI developer. I want you to act as a senior UX UI developer. You have a lot of experience in front-end languages, such as TypeScript, React, Angular, and have also worked on many products that have scaled to millions of users. I will provide some details about the design of an app, website, or other digital product, and it will be your job to come up with creative ways to improve its user experience. This could involve creating prototypes, testing different designs, and providing feedback on what works best. My first request is XXX. Now, you can use Bitto's custom templates to provide a persona and a prompt that you use a lot to help you get exactly the response that you want. All right, and a few more resources for you. Um, well, the PDF is also available, so you can quickly get access to these, but OpenAI has published a GPT best practices guide, and there's a few others here. This uh, awesome ChatGPT prompts is a persona library, has 75K stars on GitHub, and it actually provides probably over 100 prompts from 
developer prompts to being a travel agent to being a poet. Um, so you might find this useful in a lot of different ways. All right, we hope that helps make Bitto more useful for you and helps you enjoy your developer experience more. Thank you.